Hey guys, it's Kennedy, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me, hence the bare face. I'm just gonna be showing you guys what makeup I use on the daily, and it's not a no makeup look, but it's also not a glam look by any means. It's just kind of somewhere in the middle. So if you guys wanna see how this look turns out, then please keep on watching. So I've already washed and moisturized my face, and now I'm going to prime my skin. So I use three different primers because I'm just extra, there's nothing else I can say. So I use these three here, this is the Benefit Professional. everyone kind of loves this, and I had just rediscovered it in my collection and I fell back in love with it. Um, I have the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, this is like a giant bottle that I ordered online when there was a VIB Rouge sale. And then uh, the last one is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, this is the Nourishing one. So, I'm gonna use all three. I also do have my mirror right here, so if you see me like looking down, that's why. But I just use a little bit of the Porefessional and just put that where I want to fill in the pores. So it's mostly just like on my nose and then I just kind of bring that upwards onto my forehead and on my cheeks, but it's mostly just my nose. My Smashbox primer always sounds like it's breaking when I open it. Like, I don't know why it makes such a loud noise. But now I'm gonna go in with like a pea-sized amount, just put it all over my face. And lastly, I go in with the Makeup Forever Primer just to hydrate my skin because my skin is just so dehydrated. Also, I apologize for the lighting. I'm using natural light and it's just kind of weirdly gloomy but sunny, so it's just, I don't know how to work with it today. So the first product that I use is the Sephora Bright Future Color Correctors in the shade 04 Peach Light. Just looks like this here. To be quite honest, I don't think this is a color that works well enough to actually like combat my under eye dark circles, but I think I'm just trying to finish this up and I like to convince myself that it's working, but I don't think it really is. So I gotta find something a little more intense because these under eye bags are just too much. So I didn't explain, but I just put four dots underneath my eyes and then I use my finger to kind of blend it out. And then after I've done that a little bit, I just go in with my nude beauty blender to just blend it all out. Next, we're moving on to foundation. And I always kind of cycle between these three here. This has been my top choice for the past little while. And it's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Invisible Cover Stick Foundation. And I have the shade Y215. And I've just been obsessed with this. I wanted to pick it up for so long and I finally did. And I love it. The only thing is that this doesn't wear for super long on my skin. I know it's like very emollient. So it's not like it's hydrating. So it's not going to stay put like a matte foundation would. Um, but I have kind of a long day today, so I don't really wanna risk that breaking up on me. Um, I do, for like longer days, like wearing the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour full coverage foundation. I have the shade Fair Beige. Um, this is one I lean towards if I know I'm gonna be like outside and it's kind of hot and I don't want my makeup to sweat off. However, today I'm actually gonna go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in the shade 201. This, I mentioned it a little while ago and I hadn't used it in probably about a month. And yesterday I was getting ready and I just decided to throw this on and I had the best makeup day that I've had in a very long time. Like this wore on my skin for over 13 hours beautifully. Like it didn't break up. Um, it didn't look like overly shiny or anything like that. It was just phenomenal. <laughs> so I'm gonna wear this and also like it photograph well cause I was like, you know, taking pictures cause I was feeling myself with the makeup. So I'm going out with my friends later and we're gonna be taking pictures. So I'm gonna wear this and yes, I love it. <laughs> And to apply the foundation, I'm gonna be using the NYX Beauty Sponge. I forget the actual name of this, but I will have everything listed in the description bar below because I'm terrible with names. Literally beating my face. No one needs to see me blending out my entire face of foundation. Who cares, right? Ugh. This is like a workout, my arm is tired. Sorry the lighting keeps changing, but I think I'm happy with it now, so we're just gonna roll with it. Uh, this is what my skin looks like after the one layer of foundation. I do have some left on the back of my hand, so I'm just gonna take the rest of this and apply it to areas where I want a little bit more coverage. So my cheeks are like the main areas, just cause there's redness peeking through still. 
Just like primers, when it comes to concealers, I am extra and I use three different ones, so I have these guys here. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in shade 15 Fair. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Light 2 Vanilla. And then this one I just picked up literally like two days ago and I've only used it a couple times and I've already gone down so much. But anyways, this is of course the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. And I have the shade Fair. I used to use the shade Brightener, which was not a good idea for my super fair skin. It really didn't do anything for me or I just didn't use it properly, that too. But I've been obsessed with this since I've had it back in my life, I love it. So um, I'll show you guys why I use three different concealers because I don't just put them like all under my eyes or something like that. I'll show you. So I first go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I just kind of go around my nose, a little bit around my mouth because I always have redness there. I take a little bit on my chin, down my nose, and then just like a little bit, a little bit up here too because I just like to conceal everything. And then just some right there too. So I always have redness under my nose, so this is a look. <laughs> and then I just take the same sponge from before and blend it out. I like this concealer because the coverage isn't too high, but it still does cover and it gives like a nice natural kind of finish. I'm just going in with a bit more because I've got lots of redness around my nose today. Next, I'm gonna take the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer and my Ego Tools Airbrush Concealer Brush. I've had this forever. And I just take some of the concealer, put it on the back of my hand, and then use this brush to apply it to problem areas like blemishes and things like that. Just because this concealer has wonderful coverage, staying power, and it just covers everything that I need it to. I just, I love it. I have like a weird zit over here and I don't understand why or like how how I have blemishes over here. Like this is never the spot that I get breakouts in. It's always like forehead or chin. So this is just like super weird. Are you ever just doing your makeup and you just find like random fluffs and things like all over your face? Because me, every single day that I do makeup, like I don't even know how I get that everywhere. It's just like little fluffs from like maybe a towel or something. But like, I don't understand. Okay, and last concealer is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. And I just like to apply this, of course, under my eyes to cover up these dark circles. I feel like I got a weird one and the product just like doesn't like to seep out the sponge really well. Maybe that's why I've already used so much of it. I don't really know. I like to do each eye individually so I have the chance to like properly blend it and then actually set it right away with powder because my under eye crease is so bad. Um, but I use these two sponges, so the same one and then this one is from Real Techniques and it's nice and small, so. Perfect for under the eyes. Sorry, I didn't finish my sentence. I was just stressed about blending this out properly. I do bring the concealer on my eyelid because some days I just don't wear like any eyeshadow and I just want to even out like the veins and things like that on my eyelid, so. I mean, you can already see a difference here, like the side that's already concealed and the one that isn't. It's just, I need concealer. Concealer is like my best friend. To set my under eyes, I use my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder and I literally store it upside down because when I flip it back and forth, I just make more of a mess getting the powder everywhere, so. I just literally keep it upside down all the time. Plus. This one's not running out, but I feel like it, it's nearing the end of its life, so I just like to keep it flipped and then I'll get more product that way. Or at least I convince myself that that's the case. To apply the powder, I like to take the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, I actually know the name of this one, and I just apply a little bit of powder, and I didn't mention it, but like all the sponges that I use are damp, like I've wet all of them, so. I don't use any of them dry, but I just like to apply some powder on the sponge and then put it under my eyes. I'm not baking, but I'm just trying to keep the product in place. And I make sure one more time to blend out any creases. I do it immediately before because like I said, my under eyes crease so bad. So I gotta make sure there's minimal chance of creasing. I gotta always look at a weird angle to make sure everything's blended. And that includes my eyelid because you know, of course, I got creases there too. So I'm pretty sure I was out of frame for the whole time, but all you missed was me making weird faces and me like just kind of gently, but like pushing the powder into the concealer and everything like that, just to make sure it's set. And like I keep saying, I'm trying to avoid all of the creases. Sorry, there was like powder in my eye, so that's fun. 
So now that this eye is all concealed and set, I'm just gonna finish up the other eye off camera. I also like to take a little bit more of this concealer and I know it's for dark circles, but I like to just, I'll show you. I like to take it down my nose just a little bit. I know I'm very fair, so the, it's, it's a little tougher to find products that are like light enough to highlight without making me look like I'm did. But uh, I just kind of like to do this and just give a little bit extra coverage too. And then I will just blend it out and then we'll finally be done with concealer. Once I have everything blended out, including my little forehead lines, which are so annoying, um, I will take my Real Technique sponge again and just the flat side and back into the Laura Mercier powder and just set that too, because I wanna make sure that these products aren't creasing on me, you know? These products are expensive. I spent time applying my makeup. I want it to look good, so. I close my eyes too because I know that the powder is probably gonna fall and get me in the eye, so. <laughs> just precautions, you know? I just lost my train of thought. That's, that's just a reoccurring theme for this whole video. I also like to set my nose a little bit. And my skin now isn't really oily, it's quite normal to dry, I'd say. Um, but I still just like to set everything. So it's not necessarily like I'm setting my T-zone because I know that I'm gonna get oily. It's just that I like to set these areas because I know that this is where makeup fades on me the fastest or maybe I'll like touch my face the most in these areas. I, I don't really know. I just, I like doing this, it works for me. We're gonna go with it. Um, I am now just going to fill in my eyebrows and I like using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. I'm just gonna do this off camera because it's really, it's nothing exciting. You'll see my brows go from bad to a little less bad in my opinion. I just wanna show you guys like the halfway point because I find it really funny that like this brow's done but this is still just like my natural brow and it's just taking me forever because I'm just listening to High School Musical, you know? I just, I can't help it. <laughs> Seven years later and my brows are done, I have also set them with this Rimmel brow gel. I think the color is blonde. I don't even know the name because all the name has like worn off, but like I said, everything will be listed below if you wanna check it out. So I do my makeup in kind of a weird order. Now that my brows are done, I like to just take this little Sephora Pro Mini Flawless Airbrush brush. This is the one that you get for renewing VIB Rouge this year or becoming VIB Rouge. Anyways, I just like to take this and I just make sure that there's no extra powder from when I set like my under eyes, my nose, around my mouth and my forehead. I just brush that all the way. And then because more is more, like Tati says, um, I will take my NYX No Filter Finishing Powder in the shade Porcelain and my new all-time favorite brush ever, just ever. This is my Morphe E41 brush, and it's just a powder brush. It, the barrel's a little dirty, because you know, like a grubby little hands, but it's just the most beautiful brush. It's the softest, br softest brush. My friends were over the other day, I literally were like, feel this, like this is incredible. So it's just the most wonderful brush. I'm obsessed. And I just take a little bit of the powder, and then I just kind of hit off the excess, and I just press it lightly into my skin. I do use like a setting spray and things like that later on. I'll apply highlights, so I will get that glow back. I will not look so flat and matte, but I am just always paranoid that my makeup is going to slip and slide around. Oh, my eyebrow just wants to, wants to play today, okay. Um, so I just like to make sure my entire face is set as well as just down my neck too. And then it just gives me a nice base for my blush and bronzer and everything like that, just so I know everything's set. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm literally just like rambling on now, but there we are. Now we are all set, <laughs> literally. Now moving on to eyes. For day to day, I usually either don't wear any eyeshadow at all, or I will wear this guy here. This is the Stila Kitten eyeshadow, and I've gone through so many of these. I love it. It's just my go-to kind of everyday color, and it's just so creamy and soft that it breaks really easily, so I found that out the hard way. I fixed so many of these, but once you've hit pan and stuff, there's, there's no avoiding the broken mess of eyeshadow. So I just use my Real Techniques domed shadow brush and just 
apply it all over the lid, like just up into the crease, and then I just blend it out, call it a day. Curl, curl, curl out. Oh, curled too much. So I've curled my lashes and now I like to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Lash Primer. To be quite honest, I don't know if this really does much for my lashes, but again, it's one of those things where I like to convince myself that it's doing something and I just use it anyways, so. For mascara, I'm gonna be using my current favorite, which is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. That is very comparable to the Benefit Better Than Sex Mascara, but you guys already know that. I love mascara. Like, this side, I'm just alive, I'm awake, I have eyelashes again, and this side, I'm just a little sleepy. You know, there's like two eyelashes there where you can't really see them, but I just, I live for mascara. <laughs> And just for the lower lashes, I use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume in the waterproof formula. Again, all the name is rubbed off, but I just, I have really watery eyes just all the time. And so it's safer to have like a waterproof mascara on my lower lashes. Now that that's all done, I like to set my face with setting spray and then I'll finish the rest of my makeup. It's weird, but it's just the way I like to do things. So I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Spray and Set and mine looks disgusting, but. And because this doesn't have the best mister on it, if I have any like big spots, like just like the water droplets, I will just use my damp sponge and just kind of get rid of it. Also, if you can hear that banging, it's either my neighbors trying to cut firewood or the kid is playing drums on like containers because both of those happen pretty frequently with my neighbor, so I wouldn't be surprised, but I feel like it's probably the firewood. I don't care enough to look, but it's like right outside the window, so it's loud. Sometimes this doesn't dry fast enough, so I literally bought a fan from the dollar store, and um, I love it. I'm just extra. Oh, I just knocked my foundation over. I'm living. Okay, we're nearly done. So now I go in with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and this is the light bronzer color and it smells so good. If you guys have never tried it, this just smells like a tropical vacation. It's just, I don't know, it's just very tropical smelling. And then I take my Morphe R2 brush, which apparently I have already scratched up a little bit, which is nice. I've had this for like a week and it's covered in bronzer, but it's beautiful. Like look at the rose gold barrel, it's just, Beautiful. Bronzer is like a new thing for me because I feel like I've mentioned in like really old videos and I'm like, I will never use bronzer. I think just because I was scared and I didn't know what to use or how to apply it. And I still don't put like a lot, but I do use it now, which makes me happy because this, this pale girl could use some color. I'm pretty pale. So I don't know if you can really tell much of a difference like no bronzer and bronzer, but I feel like you can. I'm still like scared to contour because that's a whole another another thing in and of itself, but um, we're using bronzer now, so that's good. My neighbor's back at it again with whatever they're doing. It's so noisy. Probably chopping firewood, which means that they're gonna have a party later probably, and it's gonna be so loud. <sighs> oh. I'm just full of complaints, sorry. To bring it down my neck, cause you know I'm notorious for having a face that does not match the rest of my body. That's something that I really love, <laughs> promo, about the Makeup Forever like stick foundation. It matches me so well and I feel like, oh my God, I almost blended with this side. Ah, I'm a mess. Um, I feel like it just blends so well well and it just looks really good. There's like a little little black fluffy thing that I keep getting. I'm a mess, okay. I'm kind of bronzed up. I mean, this lighting's not good either, so you could just see that like I'm pale, but that's okay. For blush, I'm going to be using the color Orgasm from NARS. I have just like the deluxe sample size here and I'm going to apply that with my Morphe M405 brush. Can you tell that uh, I've used this and also that I just bought a whole bunch of Morphe brushes? That's why I keep talking about them. I just love them, I'm sorry. Honestly though, I only bought like an insane amount of Morphe brushes because I was too late to the game, but um, it was 
probably about a week after Jaclyn Hill put up her video about like her favorite Morphe brushes and so I bought quite a few of the ones she mentioned and then just like a couple other eyeshadow ones as well. Oh my god, I love blush. I just, I keep saying it like these products bring me back to life but like blush literally brings me back to life. And I know I put foundation and everything on to cover up the redness but like this is different. This is pretty. And now I know why people have raved about like the orgasm blush for years because it's beautiful. I'm usually pretty heavy handed with blush so I just like to take this brush from Target. I don't even know what it's called. I've had it for years but it's just like a nice dense kind of kabuki brush and I will just blend it out to make sure there's no harsh edges and to lessen the intensity a little bit because it's usually pretty intense. I said this before, but like we're actually almost done. Now I'm gonna take this Smashbox Spotlight Palette, the pearl one, and it just looks like this here. Wow, you can see everything in the mirror. I'm gonna take this first shade here. Mm -hmm. This is Turn It On Pearl, and I'm gonna use my Morphe M510 brush and just dip into that. You couldn't see any of that, now it's my face. There we go. I usually go for a kind of an intense highlight, but more recently I've just been toning it down a little bit. It's probably still a lot for some people, but I've been like trying to tone it down because I used to use the Cover FX like custom enhancer drops. I love those, but my bottle was running out and so I'm like, you know what? I'll just use the powder highlights that I have for now. So to me, this is just like less intense because it's only powder and I'm not using um, a liquid and a powder. And then I'll just take some down my nose. And then this is a thing that people do. They just, you know, do the tip of your nose to look real cute. I don't know why I started doing that, but I saw people doing it in videos and I was like, oh, that's cute. So that's what I do now. Tip my nose and just extra on the tops for good measure. Just, just a nice little highlight. And then I take a little bit just in the center of my forehead here. I know you can do it like above your brows and stuff, but I'm boring and I like to just do it in the center of my forehead a little bit. Not to look shiny, but just, you know. So I'm glowing. And then I take this last color here. This is Glow A Fuse Pearl. And I just barely dip my brush in. Pat it off. That excess, tap it off I should say. And then I just put it on my cheekbones because this color is more shimmery than anything, like kind of sparkly, um, but I do like the look that it gives. Like, I don't know if you can be, you can be, you can tell a difference, but I can. And so I just use a little bit of that. Just intensify the highlight and it's just so pretty. And for lips today, I'm gonna to be using one of my all-time favorites. This is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in the shade Honeycomb. This is like the deluxe sample one, but I'm, I'm still going strong with it, so I don't need to pick up the full one yet, but I will, because I love it. So this is it for the look. Now the last step is to just finish it off with setting spray. I'm gonna be using the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. I don't know why it's so satisfying. I just love the sound of like shaking it up. It just sounds like, like a spray paint can. Um, but I picked this up a while ago and then the pump actually stopped working. So I went and thought I could just like exchange the pump or something, but they gave me a whole new one at Sephora. So thank you, appreciate it. But yeah, so we're gonna use this. Good story, Kennedy. I just do a few sprays. I don't wanna do too much. And I just like to take my fan, you know. I bought it, I wanna use it. So this is the final look. It's not like a natural no makeup look, but it's not too much either that you couldn't wear it day to day. So that's why I love this. I just like the look of the foundation and everything like that. Just like it's healthy and I feel like I'm glowing and it's just, it's nice. So that's why I wear this every day. I wouldn't wear it if I didn't like it. But that is it for my video today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I don't know what it is. I'm just judgmental Judy. I'm sorry, but like, he's still cute. Ka ciao. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so exhausted. I can't wait to stop <laughs> beating my face. I just threw the sponge. That's how 
done with this motion. I am ridiculous. Oh my God. I have a little dish of water and I just threw my sponge in it. Oh, I'm so messy. Well, this is why you shouldn't have a bowl of water sitting around. Duh. Okay, anyways. How do I get mascara on my nose? Looks like I could have muscles of some sort. And this is the bite, bo bite booty. Bite booty. 